Hey everyone, uh, happy Friday. Well, it's a beautiful day, of course. I'm in Southern California, what can I say? Um, it's sunny, I think it's gonna cool down a little bit today, but I think it may still get up into the mid high 70s, maybe I think, maybe touching 80, we'll see. So far, so good. Actually right now it's 77 degrees. I am in North Long Beach. I have been uh, riding around, driving around, checking out my my friend and past client's neighborhood as well as the comps that I have sent him because he is thinking of putting the property on the market and we are going back and forth on what he thinks he should list it for and what I am telling him he should list it for. And so I've been trying to be more uh, intelligent and showing him why I think the number should be less. Uh, I decided to go around and, and actually go actually physically see through the outside the properties and the comps and I can kind of give him an idea of what, why I am where I am. But here's the thing, no matter what I think, you know, the market right now is tough. And the only reason why it's tough from the buyer's side is because interest rates have now gone over 8%. As much as I keep trying to do uh, videos, trying to tell you interest rates have gone down or they're fluctuating maybe positively, it just isn't happening. <laughs> interest rates have gone over eight. I don't know what they are today, but unfortunately an 8% interest rate, some buyers, will kind of hold back from buying something because, well, they think it's high. And it is high compared to where years past, we were in the threes. However, anyways, that's not, that's another story, another video, but interest rates being where they are will affect the buyer pool and it will affect your price. So the last thing that you want to do from a selling perspective is to list your property too high that the buyers out there aren't gonna be able to look at your house because pr price is too high, interest rates are too high, your property is gonna sit on the market. Now in this particular house, he added an ADU over the last three years and it's a 300 square foot ADU and it is a nice one. So that ADU will actually bring him more value. The issue is, we don't really know what that value might be because in North Long Beach, a lot of people don't have ADUs and if they do, they're not legal. His is legal. So we won't know whether the buyers will actually, you know, chime in and offer an added $25,000, $30,000 because ADU of the ADU. I think they will because most people up here want ADUs. But again, most people up in North Long Beach have ADUs and they're not legal. So he has that advantage. So anyway, stay tuned. I, I think my client, my friend is definitely leaning towards selling the property, but we shall see. I'm doing my due diligence as a listing agent to make sure that I convey the right information to my client so that he can make the right decision on where we both can agree on what to list the property for. Stay tuned.